This is the only 917-10 that was run by Penske Racing uh, that exists in North America. In 1972, there were only three turbocharged Porsche 917s that the factory built in Germany and were shipped to the uh, uh, Penske Racing Shops in Pennsylvania. This represents uh, the most successful one. It has the best history. It is the first successful turbocharged engine that was, uh, that was ever developed. It kind of is the, the ultimate hot rod race car when you look at it, because after that, everything started getting restricted at different levels based on the speeds of these cars. And the 917 is obviously a car that had very little rules influence. There wasn't an issue about safety or how much fuel you had or how much power you had or how big a tire. It had extremes in every one of those categories. We had an advantage uh, in 1972 from the standpoint that our car was, by the time we got to racing it, was thoroughly sorted out. Because of the hours and miles and effort that Mark Donahue and the Penske Racing Team and Porsche had put in developing this car. When we got the turbo motor, it was about 880 horsepower. This car had a, uh, uh, I believe, a top-end capability with a turbo motor of about 220 miles an hour. The Can-Am in 1972 was nine races. This car sat on the pole for five of those events. It won first place in five of those events. It lapped the entire field in two of those events. Of all the race laps that were raced in 1972 in the Can-Am, this car ran all but three of them. Uh, George Fulmer won the championship with 130 points. I believe second place was a total of 65 points. Uh, watching uh, George Fulmer lap the field in this thing when I was a kid, and you're like, wow. And then, you know, you're reading the specs and say, okay, well, the car weighs less than 2,000 pounds. If you crank the turbo boost up, it's got over 1,000 horsepower. It, you, know, you don't have to be great at math to figure out that thing moves. The guys who strapped themselves in these cars really deserve anybody's respect. You know, the 917 was the beginning of the all-out race car from Porsche to win overall at anything they went to. This car is one of very few cars that, that have that level of, of uh, historical significance today. Very few. It's one of the greatest race cars in history, period. The first of its kind and successful out of the box. It is truly a unique piece. It is pretty much as it was raced. I like them the way they were, you know, just right off the track, you know, sit them in and feel what the guys were feeling when they were driving. You know, it's about like it came off the track at Riverside in its last race. It's awfully special. This is the only one. This, this is it right here. We've got one of one. We restore and prepare and test and do all this work on not just race cars, but all kinds of, of collectible road cars. We've been through all the systems. It's pretty much ready to go. A new set of tires and, and a driver that's brave enough and competent enough to drive it and they can go. Uh, it is, in my opinion, it is as historically significant a Porsche as there will ever be. In 1972, this was the most powerful road racing car in the world. And it still is today.